just had an epic few days with C'est la vie. We are both pulling anchor and they're heading off to have the boys do a 24 hour challenge out in the wild. And um, I'm gonna go see family in Andros. So I just passed like this little blue, probably a towel. And I was thinking, hopefully we'll get mahi. We're about seven miles off of Andros and wine went off immediately and I saw mahi jump. So super stoked, about to reel it in. Fish tacos tonight. Super rainy but cozy day. It is honestly much needed. Ready to get some work done. Raft it up. Mail boat is in. Some other boats are in. We have the prettiest water. The wind has finally died and this afternoon the rain should clear up and we're going to get to go diving. So I got to bypass me actually going in that little room today because it's pulling. Pause. Because it's pulling so well. so much easier for some reason this time maybe because I've wired a million things at this point but this is so special to see
that's actually a big Shady. height. Shady. Yeah. in the Bahamas without like friends around without anything which is really cool there is one catamaran in this anchorage I think they're about to leave too not sure but they have their engine running maybe just charging their batteries but it's so gorgeous out a mutton just literally swim under my boat as I was setting anchor and I really want to go spirit fishing, but I also want to find out if I can fix my solar. Um, there's the responsible things to do, and then there's the not responsible things to do. Um, it's just so freaking pretty out here. I mean, come on. You can't even see the horizon. It just fades. These days are so hard to come by, honestly. Um, in the summer, they become more common. And I don't have a spear fishing buddy, so that is also not the smartest thing. Yeah, they're definitely leaving their dinghies up. And the locals definitely won't get in. They told me that very straightforward last night. I think it's safe to say that my only neighbors are leaving. The turtles are everywhere and it's still freaking flat solar is still not working so i think i'm going to reset the controllers again cover up the panels unplug everything for 20 minutes and while i get ready to go spear fishing i'm gonna get in the paddle board and paddle around with my spear and bucket let's see how it goes um this should be interesting bartending and ending it with the most beautiful sunset so gorgeous and I now have one two three neighbors he does not know we're gonna be on the move tomorrow What are you doing? Mosquitoes are attacking me like freaking crazy. I'm itching everywhere. Oh, it's on my arm. Yeah. Um, being an anchor with no wind and close to land at Andros sucks. When my autopilot decides to behave, we're going about seven and a half knots with one foot, maybe one foot chop. It's nothing. The wind's about 10 to 16 I've seen so far. Gusts are about 14 to 17. And back to Nassau. 
was about to hop on and say how amazing of a day it is to sail in my autopilot. I decided to not work. Come on, baby. And with my autopilot, it's um, there's a button you can push to set it up and recalibrate in a way. And it's not letting me do that. It just starts beeping at me. So I haven't been able to fix it. Um, I don't think it's battery power this time, but it just swings back and forth. Getting there, they just stop flopping. Slowly, slowly turning. But look at that. Such a pretty sight. Here we go. Getting up there. I was just going at 8 knots and 13 knots of wind with... I don't even think there's a foot chop out here. So this is probably the best day of sailing I have ever had. It's just super... I mean, if my autopilot would cooperate, it's super peaceful. Sales are not happy right now. It's my autopilot won't behave. The wind has pretty much died, and I'm surrounded by rainstorms. Mako! two catamarans with me the whole time then they stopped for some reason and but it looks like now they're going again but I'm about to drop anchor within the next 30 minutes and probably have a relaxing night based on the weather Every single morning. <laughs> Yesterday when I went to pull anchor, I looked for him for like 20 minutes <laughs> and thank God he finally started talking. He was in here. I'd opened it for five seconds to grab a knife. And then while we were sailing, I always harness him up because he will go and hide. And he likes to sit on these stairs, which I'm fine with. I have his carrier right there, and then the stairs, so he's usually pretty comfy. But he came on the stairs and his harness got off, so I looked for him everywhere. I knew he was now, but I want to find him. And eventually I found him under there. And today he was in the engine compartment, so. He sneaks into places if I open the door for like five seconds. It is pouring rain today. Big easterly wind starting last night through today and now I'm getting just a little few sprinkles so I'm doing the teak. But hopefully it starts raining again so I can finish because I'm only a fourth of the way done. This is where we like our swim. Mako, look at you. Hi. <laughs> I just got fuel. Now I'm gonna close. It's bright. It's bright. And there's no wind. And it's a gorgeous day. I would definitely rather be spearing, but you know. But I'm going to Atlantis today. Um, see some family before we all head to the Exumas. 
I'm heading there tomorrow, I think. But I haven't been to Atlanta since before COVID. And I don't really, it's not my fit, like water parks aren't my thing and all that anymore. But I love walking through the aquarium and just being there. So it's gonna be a fun day with family and little boy's gonna be left all alone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow on Patreon. Nope. He's been wanting to play fetch so much. I have like scratches over me because he wakes me up by pouncing on my face. Apparently, I don't get up early enough at 7 a.m. lately. Hi. <laughs> Make a. He would do this all day, prancing around.